So here's a practical problem that involves exponentials and logarithms. We're looking at a cup of coffee that's just been brewed, and it's set on the side, and so it's slowly cooling. So the actual problem, a, coffee, a cup of coffee is cooling down in a room at time t minutes, so the time is given in minutes in this case. After the coffee is made, its temperature is x degrees centigrade, where x is given by this function with respect to time. 15 plus 70 lots of e to the minus t over 40. Okay, so in other words, what's happened is that someone has got a cup of coffee and they've been measuring the temperature over time and they've plotted the points and we can then extrapolate some form of equation that is going to fit the curve. So there's some points on a curve and They've managed to fit a curve to it, and this one fits pretty nicely. So we're going to give we're given a series of questions um, to do with this equation. And first of all, find the temperature when the coffee was made. Okay, so this is one of those questions where if you're given such a problem in context, in context, um, Find the temperature when the coffee was made. Well, time at that point effectively starts at zero. So initially, time is at zero. So when t equals zero, the temperature x is 15 plus 70 lots of e to the minus zero over 40. Well, that's just zero. Now, e to the zero is just one. So this is 15 plus 70. So it started off at 85 degrees centigrade. Okay, so that's uh, the simple first part question. Then we're asked to find the temperature 30 minutes after it is made, after the cup of coffee is made. So in this case, T is 30. Okay, so X is equal to 15 plus 70 lots of E to the minus 30 over 40, so the minus 3 quarters. Okay, so what we do is we plug that into the calculator directly 15 plus 70 times e to the minus 3 quarters. Oh, I've done that a little bit wrong, let's try that again. Plus 70 lots of e to the minus 3 quarters, and we get 48. 0 0.0656, etc. So, 48 minutes to the nearest minute. Okay. How long will it take for the coffee to cool down to 60 degrees centigrade? Okay. Oh, sorry, that was... Um, that was a bit of an error there. It wasn't for 48 minutes, was it? It was 48 degrees centigrade. There we are. Two, uh, uh, two significant things. Sorry. Okay, I'll leave it like that. Read the question. That's always a good, good idea. In this case, I didn't. Right, how long will it take for the coffee to cool down to 60 degrees centigrade? Okay, so in this case, we're told what the temperature is that we want to arrive at. And we know that that, the temperature, is equal to 15 plus 70 e to the minus t over 40. And in this case, we need to rearrange the equation to get t, the time. So if I take 15 from both sides, we get 45 is 70 e to the minus t over 40. And then if I divide both sides by 70, Okay, we get 9 fourteenths is e to the minus t over 40. Okay. From here, I'm going to log both sides. And effectively, what that's going to do is we're going to get log of the 9 fourteenths is equal to minus t over 40. Because log of e to the minus t over 40 is just minus t over 40. The log and the e cancel each other out as they were inverse functions, as we learned before. So I can multiply both sides by minus 40.
and plug that straight into the calculator. Minus 40 times log of 9 fourteenths is 17.6733 dot 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 dot. Okay, which um, I'll put it to one decimal place 17.7 minutes to one decimal place. Okay, so this is a practical problem. I mean, I'm lo we're looking at this with call three knowledge when in fact this is a type of question that you would expect to find on AQA's core four. Okay, so this it's a good stage to learn how to deal with this question so that you've already got something under your belt going into core four. Okay, so there is already something there that should be relatively straightforward to learn and attempt.